Oh, that's doing a lot of good damage. Hello, my geeky guys, guys. Welcome back to another Bioshock. What is this you wait for? Go on. Hit the vent with your edge. Go! I'm doing my intro. Can you shut up? Go away, Tenenbaum. Honestly, people these days. Anyway, I'm your host, Masky. This is Bioshock Remastered. We've got a difficult level coming up right now, so scrunky. And we got to protect her, just like what we normally do. Now, it's a bit strange that we've got f three little sisters all cured and all rescued in this level, and yet we've still got this one that's full of Adam with a slug inside her. Would mean very much to we've got to protect her. I've never figured out what she said at that end towards the end, because me no to speak the German. But yeah, this next level is going to be very difficult, even on the easel setting, which I'm playing on right now. Yeah, we got to protect them now, it's just going to be fun. So I'm kind of doing all right for the health and Adam. Okay, can you all shut up now, please? This is a tough level, because... We got a protection against other splices, and there's always going to be a shock towards the end as well. And something tells me that ain't tomato jam on the floor right there. I'm starting off with here. What is really bad is that. Have you been shot at me? No. What's really bad is that we can only go as fast as what the little sister goes at. So. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. There we go, we're done. That is hats, the health station's hat. There's not another health station on that side, so here we go. First um dingy me bad thing. There they come. The camera's gonna help out. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. There we go. Yeah, you get that camera. Come on, you fuck him up, camera. Uh, security bots. I'll be alright. And again. <laughs> Stupid splicer. Yeah, you go and try and heal up. Oh, you're not healing up. Alright, never mind then. Oh, you died. Don't you shoot her up. This is why I hate this part of the game. It's stupid. It don't take much to damage the little sisters. The f Will you fuck off and get going, please? Seriously. There we go, finally. Oh, wait, I even got past the first checkpoint and she's almost dead. Right, here comes the second banal checkpoint. Do that, that's fine, you go for them. Oh wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll be taking that she's no thank you. Yeah, you go squish now. You've done yet. Come on. Pat is so crap. I'm just gonna buy that one out. Oh, just move, move out my way, girl. Right. Okay. Done on that one. Your health station. Can I get you hats? Maybe. Actually, yeah, I will. Oh man. Uh oh, hack you, screw it. I'm not wasting around time hacking things like that so far away. Okay, one sister's down. Of course. Right. But I've got to go back and get another one. Oh, shut up. You try doing this tenon bomb. Oh, honestly. 
Well, I've got two security bots at my disposal for now. Okay, I think this is where Big D comes bursting through. What? A camera there? Right, uh, what should I do? Yeah, just gonna buy that one out. Uh, come on, come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna buy you out as well. Make it nice and easy. What is you? Right, come on then. Get it! Where do you come from? Jeez. Honestly, they're just far out of nowhere. Come on, nearly done yet. Come on. Oh, finally, you're done. Now I can move on. I'm not even going to bother hacking that health station because once the splicer goes to that health station to try and heal up, the camera will easily catch them first before they finish it. And even if they do heal up, they'll have the security box out from anyway, so I ain't going to bother with that. Not knowing, not know how. So we're all done with that. I know that we've got a big D to come now. So I'm going to get my armor piercing out. Although, at 33 rounds left, it's not really going to do much. So I'm going to save my game right now. Here. And... Here we go. Yeah, and straight away... Ah, ow! He is not a happy bum bum with me. Come on, come on. Come to me. Alright. Um, you do. Right, you're down. Um, my little sister's still alive. For the girls to be with you, better with you than alone, alone in the crawling darkness. Well, that fight went quicker than I expected it to. And complaining about that? That's pretty awesome. Apart from any damn traps up against the wall like that. Any secret through here? Yep, machine gun, proxy mine, Eve Hyper. I don't need any of this stuff. I'll take that. That's, that gave me some ammo. I'll definitely take use as well. That is a coolness. That's a big ass turtle, man. Should be with your brothers down in the sewer. Right, we're done with that. Go! That's fire! That's fire! That, 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 uh, that is just straight up. Okay, she just goes straight through it. Yeah, whatever you say. Right. I think we're coming to the final part now, my geeky guys and gals. She's just got a shit ton of stuff. Like she's going to go in there. We've got a gene bank there. Yeah, I think this is end game. She's got ammo, vending machine there, you vent, and some Adam. Yes, this is it. Oh, I'm definitely having these upgrades. You know, she doesn't offer anything else now. Yep, yeah, I got you. Right, take that. We're gonna need that. There will be no going back from here. Make sure you are ready to face him before moving on. Got it, Tenenbaum. Right, I'm gonna leave all that actually as it is. And got a frag grenade, so screw it, let's just hack everything we can. Let's hack you. And hack you. Don't shoot it. And um, need you. Yeah. Thing is, I'm really, actually not actually sure all that much about what I'm actually going to need. The um, the was it the chemical throw thing? That's definitely something I'm going to need. That's going to be a big thing for me. But uh, da, 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 don't need all that. Ooh, yeah, actually, let, let us see what we got in our inventories. So, chemical thrower, 400, 247. Not that bad. 
We could do better, but I'm going to take some electrical gel. I think that's pretty much actually all we need. They're cool now, Holmes. They're cool. Okay. End game. Here we come. Bad faced. Just save it one last time. All right, Frank Fontaine, you asshole. Get ready for the showdown. Actually, um, your liquid nitrogen, napalm, electrical. I don't know which one's going to be the first stage, so we're going to find out. There we go, Fontaine. Your goose is cooked, my friend. I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. He means Tenenbaum, by the way. You were no more than two. You are my You're now unable to save the game and there are no more VI you chambers nearby. If you die, you must continue from save progress. Son. Okay. And that's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Life ain't strictly business. And there's the man himself. Oh, okay. So it says it from that point anyway. They can see him right at the center of the screen right there. There he is. And he's coming down already. Right, Broseph. He's got to drain you. I mean, his character model is absolutely shy as a final end game boss. Right, okay. He's got uh, fire, so we're going to do the chillness first. Hurry up, hurry up and reload it. There we go. And now... Oh, shit, I'm getting it all wrong. Oh, hey, okay. Freeze him. Oh, okay, freezing didn't actually work the way I intended to. Why is it not freezing and doing it? Alright. Freezing like that. That's doing something. Uh, I don't know what to change to though. Here it is. Come on, my friend. The thing is, got to anticipate which one is the which to use. This has got three forms to use. Ouchie! Ouchie! Pouchy! Pudding and pad. Well, that one's doing something to him, finally. It's just regular the machine gun rounds. I'm sure there was a good way to kill him off. Maybe it's the next stage, I'm not sure. So come on, Frank. Come on. Your goose is cooked, my friend. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, he ain't doing that to me. I'm faster than you. I am better than you. Right, he's done. That's stage number one done. And... Squeak him again. Ouchie. Right, now it's our ice. So now with this one, we need the napalm. What the fuck, dude? Will you hurry up and reload the fucking weapon, please? Wait. Ow! Are you for reals? That's not doing anything to him. Alright, hurry up now, hurry up. Oh, that's doing a lot of good damage. That's doing a lot of good damage. That's doing a shit ton of good damage. Alright, get him now. And... Sleep. I just got one more to go. Might just keep it as electric, because that would be good. Yeah, that is doing good. Ow. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Yes, kill him. And he's down. He is down. And... Doom. We're done. That's Bioshock! That is all it is! I had you built! 
I sent you topside. Uh, yeah. I called you back, showed you what you was, what you was capable of. Even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed up. And I tapped yeah, you whatever. inside your head. Now, if you don't call that family, I know what it is. You're still an asshole. Go on, my little girls. The one thing I don't understand about this particular scene, though, is that if you played the evil route and killed all the little sisters and harvested them for the slugs and get the maximum Adam, where do all these little sisters come from? Because apparently you killed them all. That's obviously played a bad ending. But me, I play the little, the good ending, little sister saviour. Because in the bad they ending, offered you this city. he snatches it off them. There we go, take and it nice and easy. It. And what did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. Yeah. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. They look like Gollum. A chance. Their eyes in that scene just then. A chance to learn. To find love. To live. And in the end, what was your reward? You never said. But I think I know. A family. There we go, my geek guys and gals. That is the end of Bioshock, all done and dusted for this series of Throwback Thursday. Now, I do have Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinite, and I will play those at another time as well. I'm not going to do it straight away. I'm going to give it a chance to actually do a different thing for th Throwback Thursday, because my first one was System Shock 2. And this is the uh, prodigal successor to that. So I want to do something different with Throwback Thursday for the next series. I don't know what it's going to be just yet. I'm just going to mill around with other games for the time being. And just enjoy myself with other games that I've got right now. Before I pick something else different for, for the next Throwback. Yeah. That as well even. I just pick something else for Throwback Thursday. Something different. Something not Bioshock related. I don't know what it's going to be. But I'll think of something. Now... That is an absolutely fascinating game. Now, if you don't have any of the Bioshock games in your collection at all, which one would I recommend that you go and buy? Well, I think that if the free upgrade is still available, get the original Bioshock, because then you get to see what all the graphics were like back in 2007 and how the original game first came out. And then, like I said, if you get the free upgrade, you'll get the Bioshock Remastered, so you get two versions of the same game. So it's not the Remastered doesn't override your original game, which is really cool. So if at any time you just want to go back and play the original Bioshock, you can do that, spark that up, play it, and great, great. Jobs are good. And if you've got a, a computer that's powerful enough within the last five to eight years, it's still more than powerful enough to play this game. It's going to be absolutely kick-ass. Um, if you don't get the upgraded version for free, then the choice would be, well, the extra features that you get is obviously better graphics, a few extra inclusions on there, plus the developer's commentaries that you get scattered around in some of the levels. Is that going to be worthy of an upgrade? Well, that's your choice, actually. I can't make that choice for you. It's down to you. I do have both games, and to me, if I had to choose between the original and this one... I would probably say stick to the original because that is far much more worth the money than the uh, uh, remastered version. Then again, as I say, if you get the remastered for free, get it, get the, get the, still get the original because then you can upgrade it to this one and play either which, uh, either which one of them. Doesn't matter. Then again, I haven't even tried playing the original, so I don't even know if it's that gonna work properly with the Xbox controller. I might have to check that one out. I know that this one doesn't work with the Xbox One controller, so if you've got, like me, Xbox One controller, forget it. This game ain't going to work with it. I, we found that out in the first video. Anyway, 
And that's all we've got for Bioshock now, my geeky guys and guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you so much for watching the entire series with me. If you like the video, smack the like button. If you didn't, smack the dislike button and do all that good, good YouTube stuff. If you want to have your voice heard, smack a comment down below. And hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be part of the notification squad. And I'll see you in the next series. So bye-bye. For now. Dominator. I might play through Doom 3. That's a fairly old game.